the Royal Champion is finally getting two new hero equipment in the next update, so let's explain them and find her new best build for any army. Let's start with the first of two new abilities coming for the Royal Champion, the Hog Puppets. This active ability is unlocked at Town Hall 14 within the level 7 blacksmith. When pressed, it will summon hog riders around your royal champion. However, unlike the other puppet abilities within the game, this will turn your royal champion invisible for one second, allowing any single target defenses like the monolith, the single inferno, or even the cannon to stop targeting her immediately and retarget on other troops. As for the hero boost, when you activate the ability, she will gain an additional 573 HP while also regenerating 1000 HP at max level. This effect can stack with both her HP regen while also with the royal gem. Of course, this is going to be a pretty strong option, but it's going to depend on what you pair it with. As for her second new hero equipment, the Haste Vial, this ability is unlockable at Town Hall 15 within the level 8 Blacksmith. This is also an active ability, so when you press it, your Royal Champion gets sped up by a lot. For a maximum of 12 seconds, your Royal Champion will gain a pretty big speed boost similar to that of the Barbarian King's Rage Vial, while also gaining a huge attack speed increase. As for the hero boost, when you activate this ability, she'll gain a permanent DPS increase as well as a faster attack speed. This can be quite good in situations where time is at the utmost importance. So what else can you run with both this and the Hog Puppets? Let's also quickly break down her default abilities as well. The Seeking Shield is one of those active abilities and when pressed, she will throw her shield doing a lot of damage and possibly one-shotting some of them. It has a 71 tile range if you are ever curious, but as a hero boost, she will only gain 380 extra HP once you use this ability. While on the other hand, the Royal Gem will instantly give you HP when you press, which can stack with any other HP regen stats. The hero boost in this case will give your royal champion both a DPS increase and increased HP. So which hero equipment pair is her best build for any army, and which one pairs really well with each other? Well, starting with the default set, the Seeking Shield and Royal Gem just have a great synergy together. It keeps the, the Royal Champion alive, while also providing her with excellent damage from the Seeking Shield. This combo is pretty good in any situation regardless of the strategy. Now, since I know most of you guys are also going to be running the Seeking Shield still, either running the Hog Puppets or the Haste Vial is a very solid choice, as for the most part, the Seeking Shield gives you the benefit of doing huge damage and, of course, having the ability to one-shot certain buildings while also giving you either DPS from the Haste Vial or even healing an extra troops from the Hog Puppets, both of which can just increase your survivability or increase DPS, whichever you prefer, it just comes down to your personal preference. This is perfect though for any army that uses a back-end Royal Champion, such as in Smash Attacks or Air Spam, or even being used in Hybrid Attacks. Now, one of the more underrated sets is going to be the Hog Puppets and the Royal Gem. This sounds pretty bad, but in practice, it is practically a extra life for your Royal Champion. You get a ton of healing from this, but you also get invisibility for a second, distraction troops, extra HP, and DPS. It's just such a strong option that all you have to do is place down your Royal Champion and you don't have to worry about her all. You don't even need to pay attention to her. I will personally be running this more often than not, as this combo is really comfortable in anything like Lava Loon and Hogs, since you're using her like a Sui hero, or you could even use her in hybrid to refuel on Hog Riders, and also to just stay alive, or using her on the back end, and you don't even need to worry about her at that point. This is just a very comfortable ability set that I would recommend that you try out once the update drops. Now, of course, any combo of these hero equipment will work very well. So just run the equipment that suits your needs and playstyle. Now, we've also got some quality of life changes and some notable bug fixes coming in this update. As 
of all bug fixes, the giant gauntlet is finally being fixed as it will no longer cause the Barbarian King to be invincible after he was in the Eternal Tome. Alongside the gauntlet, the invisibility vials extra damage will no longer be boosted by the rage spells. Now as for quality of life changes, one of these changes is to the upgrade buttons. Before you saw both upgrade buttons on the same tab, but now they are going to be separated. If you are upgrading with magic items, you will only see magic items and no resource button. However, if you're upgrading with resources and you have a magic item, you will only see resources if you are going to upgrade with it. This is just to prevent the accidental usage of unintended magic items. In addition, there are some quality of life changes for decorations. Attacking troops can now just walk straight through them like it's nothing, so they will not go around it like before. And of course, you can now place troops on decorations. There are also some other things to go over, such as now being able to participate in both a friendly war and a regular clan war. Just be sure you have separate clans for the regular clan war and friendly wars, as you cannot have two wars stacked in the same clan. Alongside this, clan wars that end in a perfect draw will not lose their war win streaks. You can also now bypass the Legend League defense layout cooldown after merging defenses at Town Hall 16. And for you co-leaders and leaders, you can now see how long your clanmates have been inactive for up to a month than just a week. And that is everything for Sneak Peek 2, but be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss what the next new spell is coming in that new Dark Spell Factory. But if you're not caught up, then I would recommend checking out this video that goes over everything in Sneak Peek 1.